Hello, I'm going to be demonstrating the Balance Star HV150 manual vertical balancing machine. So right now, let's start with the setup. I go to my balance screen. I'm going to click File New for a new part file. I'm going to click on Edit Part, and here are all my part parameters. So the ones that I'm going to be using for this demonstration, I'm going to be using units of ounce inches, the rotation sense of the spindle is clockwise. I'm going to put in a radius of four inches, which is my correction radius of the part that we're going to put on the balancing machine. I'm going to have it show me where to remove weight. And now when in choosing an unbalanced tolerance, this is where the computer says pass or fail, I'm going to move to the right of the screen here and use my ISO 1940 calculator. I'm going to start with the default G6.3 value and enter the part weight, which is approximately 14 pounds for the part that I'm going to be using. The ISO RPM is the RPM that the part spins in the actual application, not necessarily on the balancing machine. So in the real world, this is spinning 3,600 RPMs. I'm going to press the Use ISO 1940 Tolerance button there. And so now it automatically calculates what the unbalanced tolerance is and puts that value over here into the unbalanced tolerance field. The last thing that I need to do for a normal setup is click tooling compensation. So tooling compensation does the tooling unbalanced compensation or runout compensation depending on how you define it. So I'm going to click apply. And now the program takes me automatically to the tooling unbalance routine. So it says press yes if you want to measure and save the tooling unbalance. I do. So let's press yes. So now we follow the on-screen instructions. Run out compensation, initial run. Place the part on the arbor at position number one. Start the motor when ready. So we move over here. This is the part that I'm using. And I'm going to put it on my expanding mandrel and tighten it down. Position one can essentially be anywhere that we run this. So I'm going to press the start button, and this is going to spin for approximately four seconds and take a balance reading. Now the on-screen instructions say run out compensation, second run. Rotate the part on the arbor 180 degrees, start motor when ready. So I take the part, loosen the mandrel, Turn it 180 degrees, retighten the mandrel, and then press the start button for my second balance reading. After this completes the run, we will get these values here, which show me what the actual amount of unbalance that is being compensated because of tooling and or run out. So I click yes, and now I can save my part as any name. I'm just going to call this one disk. You can call this anything you'd like. Click Save, and so now the balancer calculates automatically what the unbalance is, and it gives you the place to remove at 317 degrees. These red numbers represent our rotary encoder, which shows the position, the real-time position, rather, of the part at any time. Can you look back at the screen, please? And you can see how it's changing. So what I do is I match up 317, so I get my angles in sync, and then my place to remove unbalance is right here. So if I were doing production balancing at this time, I would actually get my grinder or my drill and I would either grind or remove some sort of material from this in the, to the uh, amount of 0.14 ounces. So rather than drilling this part, just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use balancing clay and add opposite. I'm gonna take some weight, go to my scale, and weigh out approximately 0.14 ounces. Rather than removing here, I'm going to add opposite at a four inch radius. That was my radius that I specified. Now I'm gonna run it once more. Balance is gonna take the reading for approximately four seconds. And then once I'm below balancing tolerance, it says pass. So I balance it very, very well. So this is how the regular balancing machine operates. Thank you for watching this video.